What's going on? I just wanted to take a minute and reach out to everybody and talk about a certain subject that came up the other morning, and um, I think I, I think people should know about it. Uh, obviously, I don't I don't work over uh, over in the United States. I work overseas, and uh, I'm currently in in Iraq, which is one of the countries that uh, were on the list. Um, and there's been a lot of discussion about the executive order. Obviously, in the United States, there's lots going on. And uh, over here, there's a lot going on as well. Uh, just a lot of things you all don't see. So um, the other morning, uh, we were having a discussion on the executive order. And a lot of the Iraqis obviously showed their, uh, their displeasure in this executive order. And uh, why they feel like they've been betrayed by the United States and, and so on. Now, I'm not here to get into a discussion with you about policies or this or that or anything like that. I just want to talk to you and make a comment about uh, the discussion I actually had with, with these, these gentlemen. So, I listened to what they had to say and after, after they were done you know, yelling and screaming about their, their opinion on things, I asked a simple question. And I got an answer to that simple question and I got it without hesitation. My simple question was, as an American, if I went out in town right now, would I be welcome? And uh, they instantly said, absolutely not, you would not be welcome. And I said, okay, so what would happen if I went out in town? And they said, the locals would snatch me up and kill me within an hour. Um, I'd be tortured first, and after they were done torturing me, I would probably be beheaded, it would, you know, go on video for everybody to see as, you know, an example. And um, so I already knew this was going to happen, but I wanted to hear it from them. I wanted to hear it from them. And, you know, the point of it is, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, this is the local populace that would do this. This isn't ISIS. This isn't Al-Qaeda. This isn't the PMU. This isn't a militia from the Iranians or anything like that. This is the local, the local populace that would do this. Um, so my question to them was pretty simple then after that if you would do this to me in your country why would I let you in my country because all this means to me is that if you had the opportunity to take the life of an American you would do it so maybe that's something you all need to think about back there if this is the way some of these cultures feel this is the way that these countries feel about Americans why would you be so naive to believe that if they came to the United States they would do anything any different than what they would do right here in their own country I don't know man just trying to inform you about what's actually happening on the ground in one of the banned countries Something you should probably think about. I can't go out in town here. Why should they go out in town in my country?